What's up everyone? My name is Curtis and this is my channel Hot Action Fishing and Fab. Uh, this is part 10 of the Little Johnson skiff build. Um, we're going to be building the gas tank. I got this 8th uh, inch aluminum uh, 6160, or 6061. Uh, that's what I'm going to weld my gas tank out of. Um, I thought I was filming but I wasn't. Uh, but I marked out all my plates. Um, the easiest way to do this if I had you know a shop and a break and stuff like that would be just to cut one sh one pretty much one sheet and only have one top piece that I have to weld on and I could break it boom 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 uh, you know front of the tank bottom of the tank back of the tank and then weld the top on but I don't have a break so I have a lot of welding in uh, my near future here so I'm gonna cut each one of these pieces out and then weld each seam so like I said, a lot of welding. Uh, sorry that I'm under the under the weather a little bit, not feeling the greatest this week. So I'm gonna try my best to to talk as loud as I can and all that fun stuff. But here we go. Hope you all enjoy. Let's get after it. All right, what I'm gonna be using to cut this aluminum with is uh, just my regular circular saw. I got this blade, this aluminum cutting blade at uh, Lowe's for like, like 40 bucks. Um, carbide tooth, all that fun stuff. Uh, it's going to be, my tank is going to be 9 inches tall by 11 inches wide. And then I'm going to have two baffles, baffle, baffle, and then obviously two end pieces. Um, I got my fill tube there, I, there. And then I have all my other stuff in the other garage for like my vent hose and my tank pickup. And then we'll, we'll uh, get those worked out and get this tank built. I just finished up cutting up all my all my little pieces here I got here um, that blade was it was pretty sweet it cut really smooth I really liked it uh, definitely needs some kind of lubricant um, for it because it definitely liked when uh, I had it nice and uh, lubed up with some WD-40 which that's all I have for cutting fluid right now and uh, it did just fine um, probably using some beeswax or something like that would be more ideal but anyways got these all cut up I'm gonna run over the around the edges where it's kind of a little bit rougher with uh, my angle grinder and then uh, I'm gonna DA everything to make it all look nice and pretty uh, yeah on to the next part All right, I'm getting ready to uh, wipe all my pieces down after I got them all DA'd and cleaned up, broke all the edges with the sander. Uh, I started off with the angle grinder and realized that was uh, not the way to go. So I just DA sanded everything with the 40 grit sandpaper. Um, I'm gonna wipe it all down with acetone, make sure everything's all clean. Cause same thing with with uh, you know fiberglass. The cleaner your you know your first starting product is, the better off it's gonna be. So the cleaner your material is that you're gonna weld on, the better off less chance of having imperfections in your welds um, but yeah before I start welding too much I want to do a really quick small review on this machine I bought this machine about a year and a half ago it's a Vulcan 220 Pro TIG or 200 Pro TIG I got it at Harbor Freight I think I paid like 900 bucks for the machine um, you know it's not a production machine for, by all means it's only got like a 25% a duty cycle on it which means I only can weld for like three minutes um, for like 10 minutes, something like that. I don't know. I'm not like for sure on the whole duty cycle thing, but uh, yeah, it's a really good little machine. The torch, usually, all the reviews that I see on the internet that people off the torch is pretty fast on them, but uh, this, this torch is uh, handled pretty good. I kind of figured once I killed it that I would get a new one, but it's still cooking. I uh, it's a 150 amp torch, multiple times I've run it 200 amps and just ripped it. and it hasn't failed me yet. It's definitely gotten pretty warm in my fingers, but it hasn't come apart yet. Uh, the pedal is a really nice pedal. It's actually, for as cheap as the machine is, it's right up there with the, with the Miller pedal. I really like this pedal. Um, 
But yeah, the only thing that sucks about this machine, it seems to rip through gas, which makes sense because um, it uh, has a 17 second post flow and you can't change it. So no matter what, you're going to have that post flow, which is way freaking too much for what I do with aluminum. It should be, you know, I should only have like at the most five seconds, but yeah, 17 second post flow, that kind of sucks. It's okay for like stainless and everything, but yeah, I figured I'd do this quick little review. Uh, so here we go. Let's get back after it. And all right, this is what we're working with so far. Um, do the measurements, they're uh, 9, 11 this way, by 9 this way, by 30 this way, which comes out to be, I think you, if you do the math, which is um, you times 11 by 9 uh, by 30, and I forget what that gives you, and then you divide that by, um, you divide it by 2, 3, 1, and then that gives you, uh, you know, the gallons or what the dimension of this tank is, which it comes to be like just over 12 gallons. Um, so that's gonna be perfect, a little bit more than your standard little six gallon gas tank. So double that. Um, this here, I'm gonna put two baffles inside it, and these are my two baffles. I'm getting ready to cut the cut them out, and this is what we're working with so far. So, yep. All right, I'm gonna be welding these baffles down inside here, inside the tank. And all this does is just keeps the, slows the fuel down when it's sloshed around inside here. Um, Cause if they're running in here, eventually there's so much weight with the um, fuel sloshing around that it could potentially rupture the side of the tank or break a weld or something or, you know. So put these baffles in, it slows the fuel down from sliding around. So I'm gonna put two of them in, I thought, about only doing one on my one buddy recommended us to do two and I have the extra material so might as well do it so there and there and I don't know how much you're gonna see in the video of me welding these things in there because the GoPro is kind of like angled weird but yep, here it is Alright, I got these baffles uh, just stitch welded in. Um, definitely warped the top edge of the gas tank quite a bit, but that ain't nothing we can work with that. Um, yeah, hopefully the rest of this thing doesn't go the way it did with putting in those baffles, because I struggled pretty hard. And alright, that's why I'm going to wrap the video up right now. I got the tank done, but I wanted to break the tank up, the video in the parts, so I can, uh, you know, not stressing so much about getting the whole video edited in and uh, give myself a little break so i'm down here in the keys doing a little fishing playing around um hoping to have more fishing videos for you guys i ended up blowing the lower unit up in my little skiff and uh, so that thing's just sitting there and uh, hopefully get that thing fixed soon and get it back out there um 
I want to say thank you very much to uh, Flat State Films. Shout out to those guys, um, particularly my buddy Kevin, one of the guys that works on that page. Uh, they're a group of Harley guys. They do a lot of like moto vlogs and then some fabricate builds, some Harley parts. They uh, they do some pretty intense Harley builds, but uh, they haven't done any crazy Harley builds on YouTube yet, but soon to come. So if you guys are interested in watching some Harley stuff, um, definitely go to the Flat State Films and, and subscribe to those guys. They hooked me up with a 4x4 sheet of uh, aluminum to build this tank. So I really, really, really appreciate them. Thank you, thank you guys very, very much. But uh, yeah, so hopefully I'll get, you know, be able to make some more videos for you guys. And then next week I'll drop the rest of this tank build episode. So thank you all very much. Thank you for all my new subscribers lately. You guys keep on subscribing. And uh, thank you all. Have a wonderful one.